So we took down the first two of the Elite Four, and this episode we're going on to the rest. Okay. If I remember correctly, I don't like this next one. Oh no, this is Bruno. This is kind of easy for me. Alright, so we're going to want to use Crobat. And... He has Rock type, so we're going to want Meganium. And Lantern. Sadly, Espion knows no psychic moves, as you may or may not have seen, so yeah, he's not getting used. Or not gonna get used much. First ring. I hate to say it, but you're definitely not getting used. Because you're not, well, maybe against the rock types. But anyways, this is Bruno. I'm Bruno, baby. <clears throat> ah, I can't do the voice. I can't do the, I can't do the voice today. Ah. Okay, sorry about that. Daddy came in the room. He always seems to come here when I'm recording now. Extreme because I believe in our potential. Well, that's how we become strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm, I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, teabag? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoorah! Alright, the third Elite Four, Bruno. It's gonna start off with a hit on top. And good thing I went and started off with Crobat. So, usual Crobat strategy. Oh, he's gonna quick attack us. What? You know, I really need to stop hyperspeeding. My hand is going off the hyperspeed button right now. I'm never gonna touch it. The rest of. I'm not gonna touch. Well, I'm not gonna say never. But I'm not going to touch it for a while now. Anyways, he's just going to quick attack to be a jerk. And watch this, he's not going to use anything now. And I'm going to move fast. Oh, nope. He went for quick attack or something. So, fly hurts him pretty bad. And critical hit, he's getting gone. Now he's probably going to use a rock type because his AI always tells him to use something super effective. So... Let's go into Meganium. Come on, come on. Good, good. Yes! One hit. Doesn't he have... Ooh, he does have that, I think. That might be a problem for me. Hit one chin. Switch back in Acrobat. Hit uh, fun fact, hit one chin, based off Jackie Chan. And uh Hit Mon Lee, who we'll later see, Bruce Lee. So uh yeah. Though I think everyone knows that now. It's just become kind of a mainstream fact about Pokemon. Hurt yourself. Yeah, that's right. Time to fly. Ice punch! Haha! Uh -huh. Fly! Okay, I need to really hope this kills it, because that I Okay, yeah. Ooh, that's good. Crobat grid level 41, and he's probably going to use Onyx again. Or some other rock type. Oh, nope, he's going straight to Machamp. Okay. Bruno sent out my champ. Yeah. 
I definitely want to have him confused. It's confused. My champ is confused. It hurt itself. Good job, my champ. Tonefly. Hurt yourself? Nope, you're gonna use Rock Slide, which misses because I'm flying. I love how they always seem to get the hits, like right as I'm in the air. And critical hit knocked out. Nice. And last up is Hitmon Lee. This Pokemon, uh, something to note about it, it's actually a very dangerous Pokemon to use. Uh, it has some pretty powerful moves that if they miss, it hurts itself really bad. And it has a, it does have a chance of missing. Uh, I'd actually love for him to use it while I'm flying. That would be fun. Yeah, but anyways, uh, we're gonna have to see on that, so let's fly up. Double kick? Nope. Uh, the moves are jump kick and high jump kick. Uh, high jump kick is more dangerous, but it does more damage. Jump kick a little bit safer, but it does less. And we beat Bruno in less than five minutes. Er, no, no, less than five minutes. No right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. And let's heal up again. And, uh, I think. Yeah, super potions are. <laughs> Crobat was the only one who got hurt in that. Okay, and do I have an ether? Just a regular one, please. I have a max elixir. I still have my confuse race. It was here. I think this is what I was thinking about. It was here, if I remember correctly. Crobat, you're good. Everyone's really good. Other than Espeon. Um, Marowak should be pretty good because I remember a few of her Pokemon. Or if I remember them right. And I'm not getting confused between someone else. Anyway, let's go. I am carrying a Elite Four. Your tea bag? How amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. Yes, call it right. I find their wild, tough image to be so appealing, and they're so strong. You think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Okay, Elite Four Karen. Except if I had a bug type, that would work pretty well here too. Gonna start off with Numbreon. And we're gonna start off with Earth Ring. I'm gonna go for one dynamic punch, then I'm gonna slash. Okay, dynamic punch hit. And oh wow, it actually loved that. I'm surprised because Earth Ring has like an absurdly strong power. Well, I'm not going to be dynamic punch, dynamic punching much more now. Thanks for that accuracy lower. But anyways, uh, I'm surprised it lived through that because Earthring has awesome, just awesome attack. Anyways, Vile Plume next. To your Vile Plume, I say go Crobat. And I don't think I'm going to go for a Confuse Ray because I'm about out. Or actually, no, I will. I will. Because I might as well use them all up in this battle. Because I do. I, there is one more battle. Stun. Ah, oh, stun. Spore. Break up. Break Ah, screw it. I don't really care. I'll fly. If I'm too paralyzed. If I get paralyzed and I'm up there. I'm just going to say screw it, and, uh, full heal. Okay, good. And kill it, please. Thank you. 
We're back for another level, so it is once again back to being ooh, mean look. That is so tempting because that will really help me with all legendaries. Um what do we know that I can forget? Nothing I want to get rid of. I hate that too, because Mean Look is so awesome for... Okay, Gengar. Uh, we will switch over to... I'm going to say Marowak, but for some reason Ground-type moves aren't... Wait a minute. No, I know them are... I don't remember if you have any, though. We're staying with Crobat. Crobat is plenty good. Curse. Confuse Ray. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna be... recalling Crobat to get rid of that curse. Uh, hmm. Who to send out? Now let's go for Marowak, what the hey. Do it, Marowak! Okay, Gengar's confused. It needs the lick. And I'm paralyzed! I'm getting paralyzed more than with the guy who said, Oh, you better be ready to get rid of all my status effects. As a matter of fact, all he did was poison me like five to three times on one Pokemon. Crobat gained some experience. Marowak grew level 41. Next up is a Murkrow. What else are we going to Lantern? Since Lantern really hasn't seen much action here. And let's spark it. It's gonna faint attack. Eh, not much. Really like how tanky Lantern is. I never really noticed it before. And of course it just barely hangs on. But luckily for whatever reason, they are not using Hyper Potions at all. So that makes this so much easier for me. Super effective, Mark Profanted, Lantern Experience. And last up is a Houndoom, which is part fire type, so Lantern gets to stay in. Crunch. Live, thank you. Sir. Okay, if that doesn't kill, I'll just heal up with. Yep. Ooh, okay, sorry about that, Dagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's hyper potion. Let's see how I'm doing with use crunch again. Uh, what? When the Ah. <sighs> uh. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you, know what I mean? Okay, so let's finish this episode off real quick. Strong Pokemon. Weak Pokemon. There's only the selfish perception of people. Surely the skilled trainers should try one with their favorites. I like your style, you understand what's important. Go on, the champion is waiting. And with that, I will see you next time where we take on the champion for the Johto finale, I guess. Goodbye.